Oh, is that, is that what that was? As you can see, I'm here to bring the energy <laughs> down. <laughs> Enjoyed that introduction. The introduction is better than some I've had. At another show last month, the MC introduced me with now your next comedian is a strange, awkward little man. A strange, awkward little man. And that annoyed me because I am one meter seventy-seven centimeters. I am average height. Fucking little. I get confused sometimes by my neighbor's attitude towards me. They tell me they don't like to see me naked, but they still keep answering the door for me. So people sometimes tell me I'm awkward. Right, it is going to be like this all the way through. Yeah. <laughs> Just me, not the whole show. I hope. So I've been in Japan 15 years and I'm not going to marry a Japanese woman. Evidently. I, I've, no one told me about the meeting. I wasn't consulted. I've never actually been notified. It's just become gradually clear over the last 15 years. Right, so Japan is known, I hope, Japan is known for its sexless marriages and I sometimes wonder what it might be like to live in a sexless marriage. I imagine it'd be much the same as my life now, <laughs> except I'd be married. One thing though, like, when I get married, my wife will not work after the wedding. The wife isn't going to work after our marriage. Not because I'm chauvinistic, I don't believe in traditional gender values, and I just really like retired women. <laughs> I get frustrated when like, women tell me they don't want to date me. At least wait for me to ask. <laughs> Uh, the other day, a woman told me she wouldn't date me even if I gave her a thousand dollars. After that, it was a pretty awkward game of Monopoly. <laughs> I, I gave her the money anyway, but she didn't change her mind. <laughs> uh, my last girlfriend left me because of a dog. Because of a dog. I did as she asked. I took her dog to the park. If she wanted me to bring him back, she should have said. So in, in, the, in the matching black t-shirts here, you said you are not a couple? <laughs> If you were a couple, <laughs> something you might do is show each other your baby pictures. But I've, I've discovered something, like, if a woman asks to see your baby pictures, she doesn't mean the pictures you took on the train that morning. <laughs> it's a cute baby, but she didn't care. <laughs> Uh, this morning, I was recording a baby screaming in a cafe. Right. The mother noticed and she asked me to stop recording. <laughs> then the waitress asked me to stop screaming. <laughs> I have a new strategy with the ladies. I'm going to try this. Yeah. If I try a pickup line, 
10 times or 15 or 20 times and it doesn't even work once, I'm going to move on to another woman. It's not working. Some of this is probably sounding strange and awkward and it is, but I have a good heart. I'll leave you with this one. You see, like this morning, I gave up my seat on the train for an elderly woman, and now I have an elderly woman. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky for me, though, she is retired. <laughs> it's been really fun performing for you. Thank you so much. Woo! Enjoy the rest of the show. Have a good night. All right, one more time for Peter. Thank you very much. I know. He's just here visiting Bronx Walk, so if you want to, anyone who wants to.